Hi folks, I'm George Valentine. I'm an employment services specialist, have been for over 20 years, helping people move from the challenges they face in the job hunt to landing that job and moving toward their dreams. One of the things I've been able to do is to help people see the employer's point of view and also help them understand that they are more than what they believe they are and that they have the heart, energy, the ability to relearn and the ability to own the work that they do. Excuse me. I want to express to you that one of the things that I know about you already is that you have the ability to adapt. If you have challenges that you're facing, if you're a senior citizen or have a disabling condition or have had a long period of time of unemployment, you've had to adapt to the situations that you're in. It all reminds me of years ago when I learned that bees can't fly. For over two generations, there was the theory out there that something with such a big fat body and itty bitty wings can't fly. That aerodynamically it was proven that flapping their wings up and down, the bees can't fly. And you know what? They were right. Bees if they were to move their arms up and down, their wings up and down, couldn't fly, and therefore would have to waddle around on the ground, scratching out what little existence they could have. But instead, bees had learned to adapt. Now, for a generation or two, motivational speakers said, you know, the only reason that bees can fly is because nobody told them they couldn't. And there's a little truth to that. What has wound up happening, though, is that they've done some slow motion photography of bees flying and they're right if a bee was to go like this it couldn't possibly fly it just aerodynamically can't do it that's why bees have adapted and instead a bee if you look at them really closely with time-lapse photography they actually go like this waving their arms like this side to side in a bit of a wave and that's how they can get off the ground and that's how they can pollinate flowers and that's how they can do all the things that a bee's got to do. They have learned how to adapt. And you have too. I want you to appreciate that in yourself. That you have done what we call here relearning. Let's say that you have a disabling condition. Let's say that you have schizophrenia or mental retardation. You have had to learn how to adapt your circumstances, your situation, what makes you different and special and unique to your environment. You've already done that. And that's something that an employer likes to see. That's something that's important and essential to landing a job is to prove that you can adapt to what the job requires. With technology changing as it does, with business changing every year, employers need people who are adaptable. You're adaptable. You are adaptable just like a bee who has learned that you can't go like this all the time. You have to come up with new ways to fly. Folks, you can fly. You have the ability to adapt. You've already proven it to yourself. Now prove it to somebody else who can help you toward your dreams. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for coming to the diner. Come on back again soon, and we'll talk further about the hero method and how it can help you move toward your dreams. Bye for now.